Thanks right. for being able to get me on. Man, it's no problem. No problem. That's that's what I'm here for. <laughs> okay, so we're now officially on Facebook. We have 10 people in the Zoom room. Uh, welcome, everybody. 11. So there's more coming in the Zoom room. Let me just go to the <clears throat> let me go to the uh, to my page and pull it up and make sure people are. Okay, there we are. Okay, so all right, live for eight seconds now. We got 14 people in the house and counting, 13 in the Zoom room. These shows resonate with you. Please share a big hello to Maureen Moss. I'm sorry I haven't returned your phone call, but I've just been jumping from one show to another and one phone call to another. Welcome, everybody. Uh, it's good to see you. Like I said, if uh, these shows resonate, please share. And thank you for your continued love, support, and contributions that allows us to continue to do what we're doing uh, as we move very, very close to launching our independent site, uh, which uh, looks like it's going to be happening around the middle uh, of, of May. Uh, we're just fine-tuning the community uh, part of the website where you'll be able to, you know, post and put up images and videos and that type of stuff. Uh, we want to just get it to a certain point before we, before we unroll it. Uh, but again, thank you for all your continued love, support, and contributions, and a big thank you to our guest today. It's not a guest, and we're all part of this, this uh, energy we call Solji, our brother Jason Estes, who's uh, been uh, coming on since November and giving us a lot of really good quality real-time intel. And he hit me up a while ago between shows and said, I'm heading to California uh, there's a lot of people asking questions and in the spirit of helping everybody, let's jump on real quick and uh, address some of this stuff. So I'm going to hand it over to you. Welcome back, Jason. Thank you very much. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of messages on like how the mental plane works and why it's happening the way it is. And so many people that are going into depression and I even heard more about suicide again. And I've said a lot about this on the show, but remember, it's, it's almost over, guys. Like you're almost through the really intense part. And so today what I'm going to give you is some advice on how to make it through the next part of this. And it's really important. So I don't usually ask people to share this, but this is going to be a really short one. So if you can, please watch this and please tell other people to watch this because this is the most important thing I will probably teach this year. And what it is, it's called point of view. So the number one thing that happens when you run into someone that has authority or it feels like they're more powerful than you is you try to take on their point of view. And that actually causes more problems because what happens is you let go of your unique point of view for their point of view and your reality then tries to accomplish their point of view, which isn't you. So remember your point of view is just as important as anyone else's. And here are a few things that'll help you with that process. The first one is very simple. Your point of view is what's right for you right then and there. That means don't judge it. Don't go, well, my point of view is lesser. It's weaker. It doesn't belong. No, your point of view is perfect. It's appropriate. It's, it's exactly what it needs to be. The second rule and the most important rule, I think, is be flexible. Now, this is very important, though. When you actually are in a place where you're like in crisis mode, the first thing you are going to want to do is reach out to someone else. What I'm asking you to do is take that reaction and step back from it. So instead of reaching out for someone when you're in trouble, Take a moment and reach out to yourself, to a greater version of you. Just take that moment and say, okay, the highest version of me, how would it handle this? What does it understand about this? And really get centered with that. And after you get that point of view, take your point of view and update it with that point of view. Now you're going to have what is called an ascended point of view. Now, in an ascended point of view, you're still flexible. So now you can reach out to that person and say, hey, you know, I have done the work as best I can, and there's still a few things I don't understand, and it looks like you're coming from a different angle, so help me out to understand that angle. And then that person isn't going to take your point of view. They're going to learn from it, and you're going to learn from it, and now you're going to have an ascended conversation. Both of you are going to grow tremendously. But what's happening, and this is left over from the guru age, is people believe other people know better than themselves. And while they might have a new understanding that they can share that's going to assist you to become better, they don't know better than you about you. They know better about you than, than you for them, but not for you. So that's really important to understand. 
take the time necessary. And it can only be like, it can take like five seconds to get that ascended point of view. But if you come from a place of needing others and you reach out immediately, you're disempowering yourself and you're never going to learn. You're always going to rely on everyone else. The number one thing the mental plane is pushing against is that belief, that belief that you are less than or weaker than or don't belong in any game out there. You are greater than anyone else at being you and who you are is perfect. Remember that and then improve on that perfection. Become the best version of you that you can be. Take this purge and instead of letting it challenge you and cause you to go into this struggle and this strife and this depression, take this purge and allow it to assist you to find the greatest version of you. That is my point of view. Anytime that I'm challenged or struggling, I'm in there going, well, what can I learn from this? What's important about this? Why am I creating this for me to learn from? So if you're in depression and you're not able to see that, take a moment and acknowledge that depression. Say, hey, this depression is perfectly okay. With everything that's going on in my life, it's okay for me to feel this way. Now, then claim your power back from depression. Take that moment to actually say, okay, depression, what are you wanting to teach me? Because the moment you step into that state, you're in a no longer victim state. You're going to start to come into an ascended game. You're going to see the world differently. And that's where point of view is key. If I have an ascended point of view, nothing in my reality is more powerful than me, but I can still learn from it. The belief of the ascended point of view has been kind of corrupted because a lot of people think the ascended point of view is something from someone else, and it never will be. No matter who that person is that's speaking, they are speaking their truth, not yours. Your truth and their truth may be similar, but it's never going to be exact, and that's the beauty of individual expression. That's why we're here. We're here to share, not to take over, not to take on, but to share. And the only way we can do that is if we remain ourselves in this experience. So when you are in this experience, please, please take the moment to center yourself, find who you are, instead of reaching out immediately for others. Because all that does is create codependency. And those in codependency right now, hear me, this is going to be very hard for you, but it is not impossible. No matter what comes up for you, don't give up and don't give in. Grow through it. Become that better version of you. There is no need to end your life in this, this time at all. You have made it through the hardest parts. All that's left is moving through just a little bit more. The finish line is literally right in front of us, May 18th. We are almost there. And if you are in that space of depression where you can only sleep, acknowledge that. Say, hey, I am in a place where sleep is all I can do, and there's nothing wrong with that. Work with what is in your life. Don't work with anything else until it is yours. So if you come to me for advice or wisdom and you haven't done the work necessary to come to me in your perspective and I give you advice or wisdom, I'm disempowering you. I don't wanna disempower you. So please take the time and any true teacher out there will say the same to find your point of view. And then in that point of view, come meet me and we can play and we'll both learn and grow together. Yeah, that's a great, uh, yeah. You say that's uh, that's that's awesome, man. That's like uh, you say that could be the the most powerful information you have for the whole year. Uh, and I'm thinking in retrospect, just uh, just to the last uh, two three days ago uh, with Morgan and I uh, having a conversation. Now, it, it's actually what you're talking about. It's two people that have separately gone to themselves first, you know, through this period and then come together and have a conversation with the understanding that the conversation is uh in essence uh, don't tell me what to do or what what the answer is or just it, it was what you described as a, what an ascended conversation it was just two and, and both elevate from it you know both expand absolutely it was a Hugely. Very, very interesting uh preemptive uh to to this uh to this broadcast yeah thank you for sharing that yeah. Is it, I wanted to ask you something uh, as you were talking about that. And when you made a comment about the mental uh, purge is the mental purge kind of, could it, could it also be called uh, or, um, the egoic purge? I mean, is it, is it, you were saying that the mental purge is going to apply pressure of you're not good enough and you know, all that stuff. That sounds like a, an egoic 
chatter. But well, I mean, it can be egoic in a lot of ways, but it, I wouldn't define it as such. I would say that it will touch upon it, but mm -hmm. the ego has a lot of other things. Like the ego yeah. creates something based on the past and perpetuates the past in the present so that you can never be where you are. Yeah. So to say that the mental purge pushes against that is true. To say that the mental purge is that is limiting the mental purge itself yeah. because it's also helping you to clean up who you are in the present but not by just working through past issues, but future issues. Mm -hmm. The mental plane is the circle around you. It is the ability to move into the future, the past, the present, the different timelines, the different dimensions, all of that. It's within that mental plane. Beautiful. So this purge is allowing us to come into a space where we can truly understand what the human potential is. We've heard it spoken about from all these other sources, but now it's time for us to resource that information within ourselves. Yeah. and find out what is the human potential to me yeah. because there are experts out there and they've probably done tons of study and tons of research but the human potential to you is something they don't know yeah they only know parts of it yeah. and we can't truly unlock the human potential until we all unlock the human potential within us yeah so yeah. that's the journey that's what makes it so important that you stay you in this process don't become someone else's ideas or beliefs or structures. Let you define and create your own world. Yeah. And, and so the mental this, plane will help you with that. And this, so this, this, I'm going to go back and, and, uh, and, uh, uh, edit the, uh, the, uh, the post, but it, this is in a nutshell point of view in a nutshell, um, it, it's just another, uh, dive into, uh, self-reliance of the soul to to rely on yourself in, in all regards first well it can't to, that's the issue is like point of view is a choice what you choose to make your point of view is your choice a lot of people right now are making their point of view rely on someone else mm -hmm. the reason i wanted to come live today and say this is because if your point of view is to rely on someone else don't judge that don't say that's wrong or bad but work towards claiming that power back because your point of view is what creates reality. So if you believe that the world is evil, get ready because the world is going to show you evil. If you believe the world is good, you're going to see goodness grow in your world. Yeah. But it's your point of view that matters. And it's your point of view that you have the power to change. Yeah. But if you give your power to others to give you a point of view, you're never going to see the truth of who you are. You're only going to see their truth of who you are. And their truth of who you are might be great, but it's still going to be limited. Yeah. What we're capable of when we have the true point of view of ourselves through ourselves and have evolved into an expanded version of ourselves is unlimited. And the mental purge is designed to help you reach that unlimited potential. It's not something to be a victim of, but instead to expand into the role of creator. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing a, a comment from Cheryl, uh, a share, no, Cheryl Ann. This has to be the toughest point in my whole journey. But like you said, the finish line is within, uh, we can see it. Yeah, see it, right? less than a month away. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Excellent. Thank you for sharing that. Thank You're you welcome. Thank you again for letting me come on and share this. This is is so important right now. And so many people were reaching out to me and messages and like just total fear and total struggle. Yeah. And I couldn't respond to them because if I did, they would make me out to be their God or their idol or yeah. something other than what I want to be. And what I want to be is just Jason. Yeah. I've been asked so many times, am I Syrian? Am I Palladian? Am I all these things? And that, those are great labels, but they limit me. Yeah. Human first is the key. Acknowledge your humanness, acknowledge that vulnerability of what the human condition is and grow from there into everything else, but never let those things define who you are because those things are inherently not you. They're aspects of you. And when you let those things define you, you weaken yourself because who you are is greater than those things. It doesn't matter. You could be Ra, you could be Thoth, you could be all these other deities that have existed, and they are still less than you in this moment. So be you, expand you, and you'll expand yourself further than you were then into something you can't even potentialize or imagine right now.
but it all starts with the point of view. The point of view that you are enough. The point of view that you are capable of being more. The point of view that that more comes from you growing into more of you. Yeah. And the point of view that wherever you are is completely perfect and okay. There's no need to judge your journey. Everything you did to get here was perfect and okay. From here, you make the choice. Do you want to be in control of your life? Do you want to actually build something great and grand in this life? Or do you want other people to use you to build their dreams? And if you do, that's okay too. But at least acknowledge it within yourself. Yeah. Your dream is greater than anyone else's dream. You're here on this planet this time to collaborate, to grow, to build your dream, your life, your vision, whatever it is not theirs. Their vision might be part of yours and that's perfect. And that's okay. Again, staying centered in who you are allows that vision to be collaborated on and created even greater. None of us are here alone. Everyone is on the same team. We are all working together to build the perfect world. And we cannot do that if we build as someone other than ourselves. Yeah. And everyone's um, role is just as important and perfect. Yeah, and I love what you said about don't let the mental purge, you know, make you a victim, expand, step into it and, and expand. And if you think about it, we only have two choices there. Yep. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Good stuff. Great stuff. I don't know. Do you have anything you want to add to it? Uh, you've, you've got me at a loss for words and I'm a talker. <laughs> no, I think it's great. I think it's great intel because it's, uh, I love it because it's very practical. It's, yeah. it's not all this. And, and I do uh, want to say this though, uh, cause I've got a lot of friends and acquaintances in the work I do that are channeling this or transmitting that or downloading this or whatever that. And, and uh, yeah, you know, I know, and, and, and I know some of us have specialties and stuff, but yeah, I hear, I hear what you're saying. Don't over identify with these with these uh, other than human parts of us because the we are the human is the hero it starts yeah. with us. you know it all starts with us and you'll find that the more that you develop who you are the more that you'll be able to connect to other things because you'll be worthy of connecting in those things yeah and instead of you then going well this palladian guide of mine is better than me so i should listen to them you'll start having conversations with this palladian guide of yours and it'll be an equal conversation and you'll both be expanding through it yeah. because while they might have thousands and thousands of years on you in life in this particular incarnation, you have something to share. And if you listen with them being an idol or a God, instead of you working on you, then you're only perpetuating their agenda instead of working together to create something better. Great point. So there's nothing I wrong with having guides, teachers, healers, angels, channeling all that other stuff. I'm, I want to say that very clearly. I'm not saying those people are wrong. I'm just saying work towards empowering yourself instead of empowering everything else. Yeah, That's the key. If you want to be a fifth dimensional being, it all starts with your point of view. Am I worthy of being a fifth dimensional being? That's something that's in your point of view. If you don't believe you're worthy of it, you're going to sabotage yourself. You're going to sacrifice yourself for others' points of view that you believe are fifth dimensional beings. Yeah. But no fifth dimensional being or greater will ever ask you to be less than who you are for them. Yeah. They will only yeah. ask you to be who you are and show up and together you'll create something great. You know, that's, that's amazing. That's exactly what happened to me two nights ago on the full moon at the beach down about a mile down the road with the moon, you know, the, I had a, 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 well, it was my universe. I'm having like an initiation, some kind of indoctrination and I'm having this conversation with the moon and basically we merged and, you know, uh, all my beliefs of it, be it artificial intelligence or the mother moon or all this stuff was involved and laid out. And basically where we came away from it, we was her and I was uh, I gain as much from you as you gain from me. You know, I heard that from her and I spoke that to the moon, you know, and, and I look at it the same way uh, that, that. Yeah that's what that's what you're describing and uh yeah i think that's uh another practical uh bit of advice that, that uh makes it easy for us to navigate absolutely yeah. the key to life is simply to acknowledge that you don't know what you don't know you don't know what you do know 
and everything is part of this journey. So if you can come from those places, then it's really easy because everyone else is going to teach you something that you don't know about something. And yeah. you're going to eventually know that. And then eventually you're going to act on that knowing and become wise. And then eventually you're going to have wisdom. And now all of a sudden you're worthy of sharing wisdom with everyone because your wisdom and their wisdom together create something greater. But you can't ever gain wisdom if you don't have your point of view. Yeah. You're going to gain other people's wisdom, which trying to tell someone other people's wisdom through you automatically short circuits you. You go, uh, and, mm, and all these other things because your, your body can't process that wisdom because it hasn't resourced it. Again, everything is perfect. So no matter where you are in this journey to becoming spiritually mature, that's okay. But acknowledge where you are and be okay with that because that's how you expand into something greater. As we acknowledge and we become okay and we accept who we are, we expand into what we're meant to be. And what we're meant to be is greater than any purpose you can give yourself. You can give yourself temporary purpose, and that's great. But the total value of who you are, you have yet to understand. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here anymore. Yeah. And yeah. we're getting to a point where we need to expand on that every single day, even more. And that's the beauty of these purges. Every time something goes away, we create something new that's better. Yeah. Or something new that's better comes into our life for us to create with. So don't let that depression rule you. Work with the depression to heal it, to expand into greater value. There is no need to take your life. This is journey that we are on is just beginning, but the tough part of it is almost over. So please, please hear me and take the time necessary. And if you just can sleep, if that's all you can do until May 18th. That's okay too. Just don't kill yourself. It's not worth it. Right on. Right on. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you again for having me on. I think we went a little bit over, but hopefully it was still short enough that we can help a lot of people. I think so. I think you did. I really do. And you can call on us anytime. We're here to uh, support what you're doing and those like you. And I think we have somewhat of a symbiotic relationship anyway. You know, it seems I to agree. be realizing. It's quiet. <laughs> so, listen, you have a great trip. Uh, I don't know exactly what you're doing over there, but have a great trip. And uh, uh, I guess we'll see you around the 30th next time you're coming on. Yeah. Uh, I think you see me right when I get back. So that'll be really fun. Awesome. All right, brother. You take care. Have a blessed and beautiful one. Bye. All right. Take care, everybody. See you all later. Thank you very much.